Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, some users are being affected by a blue screen of death and 24H2, and it's due to the fact that they're using Western digital uh, SSDs or solid state drives, um, certain models that actually don't have DRAM cache, they actually use a different way of caching the uh, the data uh, might actually blue screen because there's not enough space allocated for the cache. So um, it affects several models. If you have upgraded to 24H2 and are getting random blue screens, that and check that you have maybe a Western Digital uh, SSD. If you do, there's a registry fix for it, and it's to allocate more space for the cache. So what you do is you simply open the registry editor and you change the, uh, you create a new uh, policy subkey. And in that policy, you will actually uh, be changing the allocation of uh, RAM for the cache. So this is the command. This is what you want to change in the registry. Uh, it has to be in HK local machine system, current control set, control and store port key, uh, which you create a new a, a key here, which is HMB allocation policy sub key. In it, you will actually change the D word value. Uh, and uh, for the above key, which is would be zero or two, and it says here two will allocate um, 64 megabytes of RAM for the uh, cache. So, um, this is uh, something that you uh, might want to do if you do have a blue screen with the uh, with the uh, Western Digital um, SSDs. I will actually copy and paste this uh, key in the description below so that you can um, follow it if you want from there rather than having a, a screenshot of the video or something. And uh, you should be back to running normal after that. It really has to do with the way that it handles. A lot of SSDs use DRAM, um, onboard DRAM, to actually do the cache. And uh, these newer models of uh, Western Digital do not have DRAM for cache. They actually use a different way of allocating the cache so uh, with shared memory. So um, apparently that creates a, a problem in 24H2 uh, for Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.